like you was a gangster. You can't turn your gangsterism on and off. That shit's on autopilot. You understand what I'm saying? Well, some you can't, so he need to he need to stop doing some of that he's doing. Wack 100 and DJ Academics react to Rick Ross's fight in Canada. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, DJ Academics was on stream and he called Wack 100 the West Coast gangster, the blood, the pyro. And they got into discussing the whole situation with Rick Ross in Vancouver, Canada, where Rick Ross was struck and the rest of his crew were beaten up pretty bad. Check out the clip. Whack, man, I'm on stream, man. We, we try to get some info about what, what, all that happening in Canada, man. Well, I will tell you this, Drake getting too much credit. I know the I know the team. I know the dude that run the team. I know what it was behind, what it came from. Drake getting too much credit. Need to put some respect on that other big rapper's name up there. Shout out Mercules, right? Um, okay. But if you want, the, I didn't realize the guy that kicked it off is one of my drivers in New York. He's just Canadian and he runs Point for dudes squad so that you see get off on ross the icarus right? dude the the, the, the uh, i carry or icarus the he call all the dogs he the one kicked it off he fired on ross when ross ran and he the reason why the team moved yeah ross used to a lot of rap beats like i, I was surprised he kind of was so thin but it makes what? is it over is it over not like us being played because that was in the background it did start over the song okay so it, it started over the song the homie approached dude and like, hey, homie, you did your thing, but that we can't go for. Okay, okay. Right and by the way, Mercules, Mercules yeah. was on the lineup, too. He was on the yeah, lineup. Mer yeah, Merc and Drake run with the same crowd, but that wasn't like Drake called the dog or, the, you know, they like, homie, you in Canada, you can't do that. And he asked respectfully and do like, it is what it is, woo, 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 woo. And, and, and Willie, get off. Bam, bam. Hey, Blood hey. tuck his tail, get out of here. Hey, hey, I, I was watching. Why do you think if Ross Snow, he kind of moved a little bit thin? Did he just think that there was a... Because, like, like, like I, I, I heard him kind of mouthing out. Of, He's like, of, he basically said, I know where we at. I know where we at, nigga. We came in. A lot of wolfing been going on. Listen, a lot of wolfing been going on. Right? Ross got <clears throat> respect coming from me and my team and my crew because he got my G homie Big Duck over there. Even if Drake ain't pulled the call, though, right? Ain't Ross... Ross is going to take it like... Bruh. Nah, Ross it's, can't take it like that. It, it's behind the song. It's behind the song. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ross can't take it like that because he chose to go in that area and play with them people like they don't love that man, right? Oh, boy, gonna come out. He gonna expose himself. Do what you gotta do with him or get at the other rapper ever you wanna get at. But don't be pushing no buttons and moving some shit around on Drake when it wasn't Drake. Do you think Drake will be good in, in Miami? And is Drake good in L.A.? Yeah, ain't nobody got no issues with Drake in L.A. Look, it was one man. One man on both sides of the ball, Kendrick and the Drake side, that orchestrated and made sure all safety stayed within both camps. His name is Wacko from Westside Palm Road. Ain't nobody looking to do nothing to Drake. You know, we just was victorious out here on the back and forth. Kendrick won. But they ain't looking to do nothing to Drake. They love and respect that man. He's Mikey's bigger than Michael Jackson in Canada. So understand that not just the gangsters, the regular, they ain't going for it. And they see that it really didn't go his way in the States. So yeah, Canada is going to stand up for Canada. Drake is who he is. And, and you know what? He earned the right to have that kind of follow. Let's just keep it real. He earned that right, bro. I said earlier, I said, Ross did what he was supposed to do because a lot of people are saying why he ain't stayed there and fight with his other homies. One of his homies got knocked out. I said, okay. Ross is the bag. I said, he did the, the, the he ain't run, but he was supposed to get oh, out. No, of no, 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 no. He got a pot of it. He was over there hiding in the corner with a bottle. No, no, hold on. But he, he was supposed to, to leave, though. Like, no, you're just talking that gangster. It's like you was a gangster. You can't turn your gangsterism on and off. That shit's on autopilot. You understand what I'm saying? Well, some you can't, so he need to he need to stop doing some of that he's doing. Well, some people say that like I mean, there's different type of gangsters. There's gangsters who they might just give it up with the no. tool. They give it up with the pistol. Like so it don't matter when it's time. It. I thought Ross is gangster though. I mean, I, we know the CO stuff. I but thought like, so too. But blood ran over there and grabbed a bottle. That ain't gangster. Academics, if you did that, I wouldn't have nothing to say. Act, well, that's act. 
Rick Ross did what I expect you to do, and you don't claim to be gangster. Damn. So, so, so you think of him leaving his man knocked out was kind of was kind of. Any listen. First of all, as a man, you don't leave your man. But see, once again, these over here is Denzel Washington. This shit. They playing the role when the camera's on. They need to stop because guess what? The camera was on, and this shit wasn't no controlled environment. Yeah, fam. Well, WAC 100 definitely cleared up what we all kind of suspected that Drake was not involved at all with this assault. A lot of people just put two and two together that this incident happened in Canada and Drake must have sent some goons to like heckle and cause disruption to Rick Ross. And obviously because Rick Ross had played the song Not Like Us, which is the diss song to Drake. But WAC said the whole incident started because Ross played that song. Which is not smart because obviously Drake is a huge artist and he's as big as Michael Jackson according to Wack in Canada. And Ross should have known better to play that and think it's all going to be all cool. Plus he didn't really have much security with him. Another reason why that was a very risky move. What I'm surprised with is why Ross was so close to the guy that he was talking to that punched him. Like uh, if you want to shout back, uh, shout at him. But do it from like a two, three meter distance to get within reach of getting punched in the face is a weird one for me. And then academics started talking about how the fact that Ross, he didn't quite run from the incident, but didn't really get all involved right in the middle of the scuffle. And academics was basically saying how because Ross is the bag, he's like the money of the whole crew. So he can't get touched. If anything happens to him, the whole crew goes down. And Wack was actually saying, nah, just as a man, you can't see your people getting beaten up and you just escape through the back door like Ross actually did. They said that he had, he had a bottle in his hand. I didn't even notice he had a bottle. But for me, a lot of people are criticizing and clowning Ross for getting punched and kind of escaping out and leaving his crew. But let's be real, he didn't run at first. He stood his ground. I looked like he wanted to get down. Then I think he realized... They're outnumbered. I'm not in the best physical shape. Let me just moonwalk out of here. Take this L. But I think the main reason people are really clowning Ross is because he does talk that mafioso gangster talk. And to see him just get sparked like that, or his crew get ran down like that, kind of takes away the image down a peg or two. And that's why Wack was saying how rappers need to stop faking the funk, stop putting out this image that they're super gangster because when real stuff happen their true colors are shown but to be fair to ricky rose we all know rappers put out a facade an image that we know they're not really really about we all seen that brit ross was a correctional officer so we all know it's not real we know his name is stolen from a a real street guy and even if you look at rick ross in his his past nothing tells you that this guy's a thorough guy in the street He's just got thorough guys around him. And it's the money that brings the, the tough guys around him anyway. But overall, WAC 100 and academics did clear up the fact that Drake had nothing to do with the situation. But because obviously Drake liked the post and made that Canada Day post and he was laughing, people just put two and two together. But people, I want to know what you lot think about what WAC 100 and academics had to say about this Rick Ross situation in Vancouver. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It's fresh hip-hop opinion. Peace and love.